What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Full Nelson Eats A Lot. I'm your host that eats the most. It's your boy, Full Nelson. Cheer. And today I got another awesome food review for you. I'm gonna be checking out the Loud Pringles Salsa Fiesta flavor. I was walking in the store the other day and just happened to see these, and it was interesting. Loud? Loud Pringles Salsa Fiesta? I said to myself, I wonder what they taste like, I said. I wonder if my subscribers would wonder too. I continued. As I debated in the aisle whether or not I should pick it up, my Jiminy Cricket came to me and said, man, you need to get those chips and review it for everybody. So that's what I did. Here we go. Let's take a closer look at these. Okay, so as you can see on the can, it says they're brand new from Pringles Loud Salsa Fiesta. Now here's the interesting part. Pringles usually has potato chips, but these are corn crisp. They're venturing into uncharted territory for the company, and let's see if it's even any good. I don't know them to really do salsa fiesta flavors either, so, uh oh, you're gonna have to wait for the nutrition. I don't really know them to really do too many salsa type of flavors, so this will be interesting. Let's take a look. Now, if you guys gotta go to work or do something important in a little bit, I would stop watching this video right now. Because once you pop, the fun don't stop. Let's go! <laughs> Boom! Uh, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Got the pop cam for you, let's go, let's go. Boom! Oh! Woo. That's a banger. Oh, man. Let's take a look at those things. Okay, they definitely look like corn chips. You can see they got a lot of seasoning on there. Dang. Okay, hello, Miss Seasoning. How you doing today? <laughs> look at all that thing. Oh, season up. I'm excited. Man, I can't wait to try one of these things. They definitely look really, really good. You know how I do. I can't have pieces of the paper hanging off there for me. Nuh uh. Your boy, Full Nelson, don't roll like that. Ooh, wee. Let's grab one of these right here. Oh, that looks like a good one right there. Take a look at it. That looks like a real good one right there. Oh my gosh. That seasoning, baby. Oh, wait. Uh, that's some flavor. Let's go ahead and bite it. How do you guys eat your Pringles? Do you go like this? Or do you flip it and you go like this? I usually go like this. Because I'm not trying to cut the top of my mouth. I had some incidents with some hard, hard super hard tortilla chips at a restaurant one time i won't even get you into the details but horrible horrible experience so now i watch out with these chips i try to hit strategic movements with them and put them in there the right way you know what i mean so this is going in this way even though all the flavors on the top i hate how it happens like that mmm Okay, you know how I do with these chips. You gotta eat a couple of them before you really make a judgment call. I'm gonna do this one for y'all. I'm gonna flip it and reverse it like Missy. Let's do it. Mm. Let's get one more. Okay, I definitely like the texture. They're more crispy than they're crunchy. So I don't know if they need to be putting loud on the side of the can like that. Because they're not like, I know some chips. There's some chips out there that'll, they'll do some damage if you don't eat them the right way. Some hard mama jammas there. These are not the hardest. These are just more crispy than they are crunchy. As far as the flavor goes, I think they got the salsa flavor on point. But I come from a family where if you're going to make salsa, that better have some picante to it. 
it's gonna have some spice it better burn your tongue a little bit and these don't really have any spice i think they could have thrown something in there it didn't have to be the hottest chips in the world but just a little something a little oniony. I think they could have thrown a little more tomato flavor in there. But overall, not a bad chip. Okay, let's take a look at the calories on this thing. Nutrition, 140 calories for 14 chips. It's the serving size. Five servings per container. Eh, nothing too surprising. Not as bad as some hot Cheetos, that's for sure. 140, that's pretty good. Honestly, I'm gonna say it's not a bad flavor. Would I personally buy them again? Probably not, because they say loud and they don't really offer that real, real big crunch that I was expecting from them. And uh, the corn flavor is just not as pronounced there. So if I want some corn chips, I'm probably gonna go with uh, Fritos or something like that that has some real corn flavor to it. Overall, I think it was a nice try for Pringles, but if you want some real good garden salsa flavor, you're better off sticking with something else and not these. It just doesn't really do too much of anything right. There's not enough crunch. The salsa flavor could be better. And the corn chip flavoring is just not as pronounced there. Probably wouldn't get them again, but uh, I applaud Pringles for experimenting and going out there and doing something different. Just keep mixing it up and come out with some new flavors. You're gonna get a winner. This just isn't really it. Doesn't hit a home run. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this chip review and you wanna see more, let me know by smashing that like button. And I wanna say thank you to everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Boom!